Hey guys, welcome back to another Rose Citizens video. Today I'm going to be showing you my modern bungalow that I made. Also, I want to say that I did change my Roblox username, so now it's L-E-B-Y-T. I know that's kind of cringy with the Y-T on it, but L-E-B was taken and there weren't many good options to choose from, so I just changed it to L-E-B-Y-T. And yeah, before we begin, make sure to subscribe. Thank you, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So first off, here we have a little pathway going up to the house, and over here is a gazebo with a patio table and some chairs. It's actually really simple. Then you go down the path, there's just one chair. I didn't do much with the exterior, I was more focused with the interior. And then here's the little, I would say, uh, playroom in here. There's um, a little seating area over here. Uh, some paintings and some neon LED lights on this wall and a path leading to a bar behind the custom fireplace. This is the same bar I used in the in my Haunted Manor video video so if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out. Then when you go inside to the right there's a living room with some custom tables that I made, a uh, custom entertainment center too. Then over here, I would say this is the master bedroom. It has a little seating area over here, uh, the bed over here, and the dresser right here. And there's also a walk-in closet. Then there's a door to the outside, and there's just a hot tub here, and a bunch of trees lining around, and also a little patio over there too. Then you come over here, and here is the bathroom. It has a vanity counter in it. Uh, a toilet with um, a custom shower as well a shower bath I would say then over here we have an office with a custom desk and this desk was based off of Ty the Fire Guy's desk that he used in this exact same room I added some features to it as well and um, yeah there's some pillars above and around and just a little table right here as well with a TV that you can see from the desk. Then the hallway, it just has a little simple table right here on the wall. On the openings of the doors, I put f little frames and little pillars around it. And then over here is the kitchen, pretty simple. And then here's just a little mini TV, the same TV that I used in the office. And also a cookbook area right here with some ingredients and a rose. Then over here I have the dining room and this is a custom dining table that I used and I made a custom table lining out of plastic building blocks also. So it lines the middle of the table. And there's some hexagon um, shelves over here with stuff. Then over here is a hallway to, uh, I would say this is just a kid's bedroom or something. It has a little desk area and a bed area, pretty simple. Then over here is the laundry room. Uh, it has a shelf and all the laundry machines that you need. Then over here, I would say this is a child child's bedroom. Um, I used the pot as a little cup. Sadly, you can't size it to make it look smaller like a cup, but that's fine. And I made a custom shelf out of the mini square shelves. Then there's a sitting area over here. Then you come out of the room. And here's the garage, um, just random chair and boxes over here to fill the space. Then over by the door, there's little cubbies over here where you can like put your shoes or something. We don't actually have shoes that you can place, so I just have them empty. And garbage cans, a bunch of outdoor items over here, and a workbench area as well. Then when you come outside, here's a little uh, playground area, there's a pool, there's a sand area, 
a sandbox and also swings and then you come over here and there's just a little grill and also a dining bar out here actually really simple i didn't do much with the outside if i'm being completely honest well thank you for watching i hope you all have an amazing day make sure to like and subscribe join my discord server we're going to be doing some events probably for the holidays and that will be pretty fun for everyone have an amazing day bye